want to thank everyone for being here today um, to uh, hear the results of my survey that I did on crime and especially uh, thank KTVA for for your attention to this issue. I know you've covered many issues uh, in the communities around the state. So I, I do appreciate you being here. Uh, I'm Senator Mia Costello. I represent uh, South Anchorage in the Senate. And the reason that we're here today is because I'm re revealing and releasing the results from a, a survey that I've taken. Uh, the reason I did this survey, and it's about a six-question six survey, uh, the reason I did the survey is because, as you know, every year the state Senate, the Senate majority, puts out a survey asking uh, important questions about the budget and the direction that we're going in the state. This year, however, that survey uh, failed to include any questions on crime. And, you know, crime is all I hear about. When I go back to the district, uh, you know, I'm stopped in the grocery store and people will tell me stories, even the manager of the store. Uh, relayed to me that his car was stolen at the grocery store in my community. And so I wanted to know, am I off base here? Because this is what I'm hearing about. So I decided to do this survey and uh, found, uh, you know, we'll go over the results today. Josh is here from my office. He has a master's in quantitative uh, research methods from uh, Claremont Graduate University. The issue is that we're not talking about it in, in this building. So no one is talking about crime, and we'll hear today that, that back in our communities, they are talking about crime, and crime is very important. So I decided that I would do what the Senate majority didn't do, and I would ask the questions about crime. Uh, two days into the survey, we had to upgrade our SurveyMonkey account because we were getting such high volumes of, of return and response. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Josh Walton, and who will walk us through the questions and the results of the survey. Thank you very much. Um, so first of all, uh, just to give you a brief overview of what the survey was, we uh, hosted, we started it on March 8th and went through the 18th, so a duration of 10 days. In those 10 days, we received 4,579 responses, uh, which is by far and away a new record for us. Uh, the way that we presented it was we posted it on uh, Senator Costello's uh, Facebook page. We also sent it out in her newsletter uh, to her constituents. Uh, from there, it basically went viral, and the, uh, the total reach of the, uh, of the post was 66,553, of which over 50,000 were organic, um, shared 323 times, which um, is, uh, is just not what we were expecting. We weren't expecting to have responses quite that far. So let me get into the uh, questions that uh, we asked. The first question was, uh, when all of these questions were asking, uh, were asking people to tell us whether they strongly agree, agree, neither agree nor disagree, disagree, or strongly disagree with the statement. So the first statement that we're asking them to evaluate is just one about how serious crime is to them. Our current crime wave is one of the most serious issues I am concerned about today. So uh, to strongly agree, we had 62.8% uh, of respondents say that they strongly agreed with that statement. Not just agreed, but strongly agreed with it. Another 26.2% said that they agreed with that. Um, for an overall agreement of 89.0%. Um, when we add together the strongly disagree and the disagree, we wind up with 5.9%. So the results here are pretty, pretty lopsided. Well, what does that mean? So we know that people say that it's serious, but do they do anything about it? And that's our second question. Our second question is, I have changed things about my regular routine because I'm worried about the possibility of crime. They've actually made some sort of a change to their life because of crime. Our strongly agrees came in uh, with a majority, 50.3%, and then another 29.8% uh, agreed for an overall agreement of 80.1%. So that's 80% of the respondents to our survey um, saying that they have made changes to their routine because of the impact of crime. Our, strong, our overall disagreement is 12.1%. Question three brings it to the legislature. I believe the legislature could do more to protect us from crime. And here we have very strong results. Um, strongly agree comes in at 68.7%, nearly 70%. 
Um, and we've got a little printing error there, but the agree is 20.2%. For a grand total of overall agreement, 88.9%, saying that they agree with the statement that the legislature's job is not done in this regard. Um, not quite 5% disagree with that statement. So we'll go to the next question. And this is a question about what the legislature's already done, and that is passed Senate Bill 54. I believe that Senate Bill 54, passed last year, did enough to protect Alaskans from criminals. Okay. Our strongly agree suddenly gets a lot smaller. 5.4% say that they strongly agree with that statement. Another 3.6% agree for a total agreement of 9%. Uh, where you see all the responses is here in the disagreement column. 43.3% strongly disagree. Another 27.2 disagree for overall disagreement uh, of 70.5%, which is pretty significant given that it's the first question that asks about a specific piece of legislation that they have to know about in order to answer the question. Neither agree nor disagree or measure of uncertainty or unfamiliarity is 20.5%. Now we go to our next question about, specifically about Senate Bill 91. And it's a straight up do we support repeal of Senate Bill 91? I support repealing Senate Bill 91 and taking a fresh look at our criminal justice laws. Our strongly agrees are 67.5% strongly agree with that statement. Our softer agrees are 14%, 14.8% for an overall agreement of 82.3%. That is to say, 82.3% of the respondents to our survey say that they either agree or strongly agree with repealing Senate Bill 91. We then have another 8.6% who are un, uh, neither agree nor disagree. Our, our disagrees are 4.1. Our strongly disagrees are 5.0 for an overall disagree of 9.1%. So that's all of the questions that where we asked a, an agreement, strongly agree type of question. We're going to move to a yes or no question. This is just a simple one. Question six, have you or someone you know been a victim of a crime in the last two years. The results are pretty lopsided here as well. Um, coming in in the yes column, 84.5% say that yes, either they or someone that they know has been a victim of a crime in the last two years. 15.5% say no. And that's out of a respondent, uh, out of about 3,200 people who uh, answered that question. So those are all of the substantive questions, um, but we did ask a couple other interesting questions. Question seven, we gave respondents an opportunity to tell us whether or not they have a personal crime story that they would like to share. This was optional. People did not have to make uh, a response here, um, but nearly 2,000 people did. Um, in fact, we've printed off those and put at two to a page, we've filled two three-inch three-ring binders with responses. And Senator Costello is going to, here in a moment, uh, read just a, a few of them for you so you can see or hear what um, the respondents are saying. Um, we also asked just for the option to be able to follow up. We asked for their names, um, zip codes, and emails. And we received 3,227 of them from all across the state. Um, so we'll be matching the zip codes to try and get an idea of what areas they're in and which, which districts, um, and we'll definitely be following up with them. So with that, that's our uh, presentation about the details, and I'll turn it back over to Senator Costello. So thank you, uh, Josh, for going through the survey results. Uh, as you know, I was a co-sponsor of Senate Bill 91 when it first came out. And uh, recently in the fall, I announced my uh, legislation to repeal the legislation and start over. Uh, this survey tells me that Alaskans want to be talking about this issue and it's affecting their everyday lives. Uh, the problem I see is that we're not talking about this in the legislature. Besides myself and the co-sponsors uh, to the bill, which include Senator Shelley Hughes and Senator Wilson, nobody's talking about the governor's crime bill. I would like to start talking about it, and certainly I, I believe that Alaskans also share that uh, desire. So I'll, I'll just take a few moments here. That I've, I've picked out three stories. Uh, I haven't actually read them all. I, I started out this morning reading them. This one is from a woman here in, in Juneau. She talks about her truck was uh, broken into while she uh, uh, 
was just gotten home from getting, uh, picking up medicine and groceries. Uh, she's talking about her son. She says he is a hemophiliac and his medications are extremely expensive and come in an IV form that I administer to him. These meds were valued at $35,000 and my state farm won't cover it since it's considered personal property after it was stolen from the car. Um, they said it would be covered by, by renter's insurance. So we had to foot the bill and new deductibles and get more medications. Senate Bill 91 sucks, it's a revolving jail door, criminals getting slaps on the hand and they know it and they don't care. This is from a woman in the Matsu Valley. Our car was stolen out of the parking lot and we ended up recovering it, but only because we drove around looking for it and posted on social media. The woman they found in possession of the car has faced little to no consequences because of the current laws regarding theft. I keep seeing posts about organizing a march protesting the legislature who keep voting to repeal Senate Bill 91. Would you be willing to participate? And the final one that I want to share with you is from a woman in my district, in my zip code. Behind my home, an intruder was shot and killed with my daughter in the next room. She could have been hit by a stray bullet. Just last night, another intruder was around the corner and shot a homeowner. I'm clearly wide awake as she's writing this and worried for my daughter's safety. I feel like we can't go to the grocery store too late. I'm afraid someone will either shoot us or steal the truck. This is out of control. Someone needs to step up and take care of this. So with that, um, I'll go ahead and open it uh, for questions. Uh, one of my questions is, do you really feel like the public understands <clears throat> SB 91 and SB 54 because those are very thick bills. There's a lot of detail in there. Um, or do you think it's just kind of a knee jerk, let's blame the legislature? I don't know how well the public understands the comprehensive bill, but I do know that criminals know the bill number and they know that they, they won't get arrested. I mean, I've had people tell me that they were there when the police showed up and the perpetrator said, I know you can't arrest me. So the concern is that I, as a legislator, I've never seen this level of knowledge in, in the community from, from com uh, criminals. So what do you want to do with this information? We, we know you've got your bill out there to repeal SB 91 and start over, but you know, as you're ed edging closer to this session, um, what do you do with this information? Well. For one, I want to be listening to my constituents, and I feel that, that I'm alone in that, as, except for a few other people. Um, I think that we need to have the discussion if it's working. I think that uh, the bill has support, as you've seen, people, people want it repealed. Whether or not that happens, I don't know, but I at least would like to start the discussion, and so that's why I'm here. That's why I, I did the survey. Uh, we didn't even ask. The Senate majority did, didn't ask that question on, on the survey that they sent out. So I took it upon myself to ask the question and, and here's the responses. So, yeah. What was the uh, kind of geographic breakdown did you get? Because you did mention respondents from Juneau and Matsu, people outside your district. Do you have a sense of that? Josh, do you want to take that question? Sure. So break, doing a, a full geographic breakdown, we're still working on that. We received the, uh, the geodemographic information that we asked for was zip codes. Um, and so um, that makes 